It's Monday, July 25th, 2011. This is Cliff Potts reporting at most for posterity, I guess. The uh, race mixer brought up something uh, on yesterday's video that I neglected to mention. It basically boils down to even a limited use of tactical nuclear weapons in a region like the Middle East between Iran and Israel could set forth a series of events which would make survival of the human race very trying. I realize that we're supposed to somehow be positive about what's going on in the world today. And I still believe for the most part because our ancestors survived many catastrophes that the probability of our survival is equally guaranteed. However, there are some things that will make it hard pressed to survive and that is one of them. Good afternoon, it's July 26, 2011. Welcome. Today's big story, I guess, is President Obama's speech yesterday in uh, Bonner, I guess that's his name. I call him Bonner so much, I forget what his real name is. Bonner's response. Guess what? I'm not going to talk about that. <clears throat> Basically, because I missed the speech. I was out doing something remarkable called enjoying a real life. Novel concept in today's world. <laughs> I do have a quote posted uh, on Facebook on Barack Obama's page, and of course, since I'm a subscriber to his page, I get his quotes. It says, the American people have voted for a divided government, but they didn't vote for a dysfunctional government, so I'm asking you all to make your voice heard. If you want a balanced approach to reducing the deficit, let your member of Congress know. If you believe we can solve this problem through compromise, send that message. Um, okay, a couple problems with this. I'm going to make this real quick. One, the American people have voted for a divided government. I don't think so. What that tells me is that uh, Mr. Obama forgot who his base is. And he forgot the reason that he was voted into office in the first place in 2008. The reason for that vote was to put a progressive president in office and straighten out the economy. Now, straightening out the economy does not necessarily mean that uh, we reduce the deficit, not at this time, not when we have economic issues going on, and we still do. The other thing that uh, kind of bothers me about this is this noise coming out of Washington as if <clears throat> the President and Congress can't simply continue paying the bills cap that they're fighting about. It is not a constitutional issue. It is not in the Constitution. It is nonsense. It is uh, an imposed limit put there a number of years ago in Congress and it's not even in our Constitution. So this is basically a Washington, D.C. game. And it's a Washington, D.C. game that are going to affect 300 million Americans. Smooth move, Mr. Obama. Smooth move indeed. But be that as it may. Anyway, that's it for today. Good afternoon. It is Wednesday. Supposed to start work today, but they pushed the start date, start date back to uh, August 1st. Uh, evidently, their IT department uh, wasn't ready with the training room for the new crew, so they pushed everybody back to a August 1st uh, start date. Such things do happen. The only thing of any interest I've seen in the news today was from last night where in the tweets where Anonymous is encouraging everybody to shut down their PayPal account. They consider this the only viable non-illegal protest against PayPal. I don't know what other uh, type of boycotts they have in mind that are coming up, 
but this looks like the beginning of uh, the movement, if you will. I encourage you if you would consider it, shutting down your PayPal account. I, I haven't yet, but I will be as soon as the dust settles because PayPal is actually slowing down the process. At least that's the reports that I got through the uh, Twitter. As to the other thing, um, one of the Major League Baseball teams let go of a couple of key players to reduce the amount they're paying out in salaries. It strikes me uh, very similar to what was happening in the United States during the Depression era. I can't help but think that we are in another depression. The good side of that is if we call it a depression, then we know we can get past it because our fathers and grandfathers and grandmothers and mothers survived the last one, so we can do it as well. So that's about it for today. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Good afternoon. It's July 28, 2011. This is Cliff Potts. It's Thursday. Uh, still waiting on what's going on with Washington concerning the debt gap. Whether or not the U.S. is going to continue paying its bills. <laughs> Just one little thing I want to tell you today. Uh, I'm not able to watch too many of the movies that are suggested to me simply because the bandwidth at this hotel uh, is limited. I can get my uh, <laughs> video up to YouTube. But trying to watch them, a five-minute video can take uh, as long as 15 minutes just to watch it because the uh, spooling <laughs> and the download <laughs> and uh, the buffering. So, <clears throat> you know, I don't get as much input as I normally would. Uh, thank you for paying attention here. Lord knows I'm getting enough distractions. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye for now. It's still Thursday, July 28, 2011. Just got a notice from Think Progress on Twitter. Pretty much looks like there's not going to be a vote tonight on the debt ceiling. And with that, I'm going to cut this one loose. As always, for those of you who observe it, Shabbat Shalom. And we'll talk to you later. And may your God go with you. Bye-bye for now.